Take a look at this headline in the New York Post. Elon Musk exposes Media Matters as an ideological shakedown operation. Tammy Bruce joins me now. Tammy, you know, I love it when curtains are drawn and we see what's actually going on in the way people operate. And that is what Elon Musk is trying to do by this lawsuit, right? Yes, I, he's doing But And this is not the first time, right? Even taking over... Twitter is he did that exactly. and then the Twitter files right revealing what's always been behind the scenes that the establishment if you will we're separate from partisanship has relied on that kind of secrecy and it because having been a left-wing activist myself I'm sorry I'm, I'm you know making up for it now and have been for quite some time <laughs> you've made amends is that there is a network and it works to kind of self-replicate yes. the, the dynamic. Yes. So, and this is what I think with w what Media Matters, what we're seeing, is that nothing happens in a vacuum on the left. Right. Media Matters acts as, in a way like the assignment desk for all the rest of the left. And but they it, weren't acting on real information. Well, they were it. acting on a scheme that Correct. they had created where they created all of these exactly. bots and so forth that weren't really and true. See, and that's, you know, they don't o operate in a vacuum. They were expected to be able to do something like this attacking Elon Musk, weakening X as we move into an election year. And what they did is they selected a few accounts, uh, not the 500 million users, targeted certain messages in those accounts. It's obviously uh, paraphrasing here in the dynamic, but they engineered it so that certain ads, when it That's would appear, right you know, randomly within one of their targeted accounts, that that would then be their example of the risk to companies. And it, because it would, they would find, they found a way to engineer these, exactly. these, these uh, bots right next to advertisers who Correct. then said they were pulling their advertisements from X, but now there's no excuse for them not to rescind that Well, order, and right? also because it hasn't, it's like any scientific thing you engineer. Yeah. They haven't been able to replicate what happened yes. with what Media Matters reported. And so, but there's also a problem here with certain companies that may want an alibi with which to, to use their removal from X. So we've got to make sure that there's complete transparency, that everyone knows what's going on. And that's what the Elon Musk lawsuit, I believe, is about with these allegations, the nature of what they've proven right. within the engineering Well, of the it. point is, is that the advertisers fell for it. It was a trick well, yes. orchestrated by Media Matters and the advertisers fell for it. They got to they got to pull that out. They the got to rescind that order and go the, back yes. to X. The All damage right. should be done to Media Matters, not Jamie, to X at this point. I got point. another one for you. Yes, Democratic sir. Senator Joe Manchin has a warning for those who are thinking about running for president as a third party candidate. He said, quote, I know that a third party candidate myself or anyone else who wants to jump into that fray is really a long shot. Now, that, that's kind of tease. He's, he's a great tease. That's what Joe Manchin does. He teases us he's going to vote away and then doesn't. He, he does a lot of teasing. What is it? Is he really going to run or is he is he teasing now that he's going to pull out? He's not I, I think this is a party. guy who kind of moves with where the wind is blowing. That's yes. why he keeps shifting. Uh, look, he's uh, if you're running as a third party, you, you do have an impact on the conversation running as a candidate in general. You perhaps get into the debates and you're able to move the narrative and get your points across what matters to you. That's what Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is doing, etc. But if you're a third party candidate, you can actually change the way the election goes. Of course, with the machine and the systems that mm -hmm. operate, you will not be elected. But you will, in fact, affect the nature of who gets what votes by pulling from one or both candidates. And look, we're talking about him again right now. This is a man who, unfortunately, as a, uh, an older man, is still apparently trying to find himself. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I would, I would. He lives on a house. Jeez, it's a, it's a, he's a little old a for a midlife crisis. Well, he's see, over seventy. Isn't, isn't that sad? We're all worried yeah. about that. When you get past fifty, thank you, hello. Yeah. Is that you begin to think about? <laughs> a, 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 am I doing what I really should be doing? What, you know, if I didn't get my dream and then you become Joe Manchin yeah. and say you're going to run for president. Well, the bottom line is, by late. the way, Democrats are feared because if he does run, he yes. you don't know about Biden. RFK Jr., but if he yes. runs, he will pull votes for Biden. So they do not he want will. him to run. He's not going to pull. If you are going to be willing and you are voting for Trump, like him or not, because of the condition of the country, it's not like you're clutching your pearls right. about, is it Manchin <laughs> or is it Trump? <laughs> Nobody's doing that. Yeah. With Biden, oh, my goodness. Yeah. Boy, oh, boy, do they stuff. have some trouble.